Rule 7-6, we are going to be using things we've done before along with two little new things, okay? Um, but it's a little more challenging because you got to think a little differently, okay? So what we're going to be doing is writing an equation of a line. So our answers are all going to be y equals something x something. Okay, so every answer is going to look like that. So your job is going to be able to is be able to find the two missing pieces, the m and the d, the slope and the y intercept. Okay. Uh, before we can do that, we need to have two pieces of information. What I have in red here. If I have two lines that are parallel, parallel lines are two lines in the same plane that never intersect each other. So they kind of slant the same, they go in the same direction. They have exactly the same slope. So if a line has a slope of two thirds, then the line parallel to it has a slope of two thirds. Good, you know what the word same means, okay? Now, the other one though, if the lines are perpendicular, they have negative reciprocal slopes. Not as easy to know as the word same. So I'm going to give you some examples of that. Negative reciprocal slopes would be numbers like two-thirds and negative three-halves. Those are called negative reciprocals. They're flipped from each other, and one is positive, and one is negative. So, if a line has a slope of two-thirds, the line perpendicular to it has a slope of negative three over two. So you flip it, and you change the sign. So two switches to make. Let me give you another example. If I have a line that has a slope of negative five, the line perpendicular to it would have a slope of Positive. What's going to happen when you flip 5? 1 over 5. 1 over 5. Okay? Because right now, even though we don't see it, there's a 1 under that 5. So when I flip it, I'm going to get 1 over 5. Okay? So perpendicular means you flip it and you change the sign. Okay? So you're going to be given information about a line. And then you're going to write the equation that's going to go with that information. Okay? Let me just definitely express that these get an entirely new level to them. Okay? That we are just like skimming the surface. We're introducing it to you um, as, as simple as we can do. These are those. Okay? But these get a ton more challenging. Okay? Um, we're going to do just the one kind where we're using y equals mx plus b. So you're going to basically fill in the blanks. You're going to find m and you're going to find b. Okay? We have ways that we know to do that already. Um, when you're given this equation, y equals mx plus b, any one line has the same m. m doesn't change. If I'm on a line, M is the same everywhere. If the slope is one-fourth, the slope is one-fourth everywhere. There's only one M. There can only be one B, okay? You can't have a line cross the Y-axis and then come back and cross it again. It wouldn't be a line anymore, okay? One B. But that X and that Y that are in that equation, a line has lots of those because a line has lots of points and that X, Y, represents all of the points on the line. So there's several of those, okay? So we're going to use that equation to help us find our B, our missing piece, one of our missing pieces, okay? So I'm going to go out of order in the notes, okay? I don't like the way I ordered them. Um, so just kind of follow along, make sure you know which one I'm doing. There are four different kinds that you need to know how to do four different kinds that you need to know how to do. One of the steps is going to be the same in all four kinds, so it's very repetitive. Okay? I'm going to do one of each kind, and then I'm going to go back, and if you want me to repeat one, I can repeat one. Okay? All right. So the first one I'll do is the first one. 
Okay, so this is the first one I'm going to do. I'll put a number one by it. Number one, that's the first one I'm going to do. Okay, I want to find the equation of a line that passes through the point 2, 1 and has a slope of 3. So again, your job is going to be to go and fill in the blanks. Mx plus B. They gave us the M. They told us the slope is 3. M and slope are the same thing. That's my M. So I can go and fill that into the first blank. Oh, I want that in blue. I can go and fill that in the first blank. M is 3. My slope is 3. Fill it in. Then I have to find B. And this is how you're going to find B every single question. We're going to use that equation that we just talked about. And we're going to fill stuff in. We're going to fill in numbers we know and then solve for what we don't know. As I said, they gave us M. They told us it was 3. Here is an X, Y coordinate. They gave us one of the points on the line. That's all we need is one. It's got lots of them, but we only need one. And now I'm going to plug that information into this formula, into this equation, sorry, not formula. So the y, which is 1, equals m, which they told us was 3, x, which is 2, plus B. We don't know B. In fact, we're looking for B to finish our question. And then you solve the equation for B. So 1 equals 6 plus B, 3 times 2. Subtract your 6. And B equals negative 5. And I go back to my little blank over there, and I fill in negative 5. So my answer is this. y equals 3x minus 5. That's the equation of the line. Now let me get through my for example before we do questions. Okay, I'll go back. Alright, second example. I'm skipping down to that one passes through 16, 21, and is parallel to negative 5 eighths x plus 1. Okay, so every question I'm doing a fill in the blank, basically. I need to find m, and I need to find b. Parallel and perpendicular tell you about m. What is the slope of the line y equals negative 5 base x plus 1? What's the m for that line? The negative 5 base. m is always with x. m is always with x. So this m is negative 5 8. My line is parallel to that. So what is my m? Negative 5 8. The same. So I'm going to go fill that in, my first blank. So parallel have the same slope, but you've got to know the slope is the m with the x. Then I'm going to use my y equals mx plus b to find b, same way I just did in the last question. Here's an x, here's a y, here's the m. And I'm going to fill it in. So y, which is 21, equals m, which is negative 5 eighths, x, which is 16, plus b. And then I multiply negative 5 eighths times 16 
If you cannot do that mentally, then you need to make sure you know how to put it into your calculator. It's negative 10. Plus B. And then add 10 to get B by itself. And B equals 31. And I'm going to go fill that into the other blank. So plus 31. So my answer is y equals negative 5 eighths x plus 31. Again, this method of solving b, we're going to use this every single question. Okay, I'm going to skip that one and go to this one. Third example. Three different kind we got to do. Passes through the point 4, 7 and is perpendicular to the line y equals 3, 4, x plus 2. So the slope of the line y equals 3, 4, x plus 2 is what? What is the slope of that line? Three fourths. So this is the slope. But my line is perpendicular to it. So the slope of the line I'm looking for is not three fourths. It is, Chloe? Negative four thirds. Negative four thirds. So you flip it and you change the sign. And then we're going to go fill that in. And then I'm going to find my B the same way I did on the other two examples. I have an X and a Y and I have an M, and I'm going to fill that in to my Y equals MX plus B equation. So Y is 7, M is negative 4 thirds, X is 4 plus B. 7 equals negative 16 thirds plus B. We'll come back to that in a second if you can't do it in your head. And then add 16 thirds to both sides. And I get B equals 37 thirds. And I fill that into my other blank. Y equals negative 4 thirds X plus 37 thirds. 